from California Highway 190. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He still died because there was nobody there that could hear his cries. So I plan on hiking to the dunes. That means hydrate better before I get there and haul more water (laughs) all along the way too. Uh, Father Crowley Vista, plan on doing that. Uh, The Father Crowley Vista, that's a, uh, uh, it's a vista. It's a valley. It's a gorge uh, where you climb to the top of the gorge. And uh, if you're lucky, you can watch the fighter jets flying sorties through that gorge. So you're standing at a vista looking down on a gorge watching F-18s, even C-130s flying through this gorge running sorties because it's a, they use this as a test site for uh, for Afghanistan. It's a whole lot like Afghanistan. So I'm three for three going to Father Crowley Vista and watching these airplanes. It's really fun. Uh, visit my buddy Rocky. I plan on visiting my buddy Rocky over in Ballarat Ghost Town. Uh, he and his father George, George has since passed, have lived there for years. Uh, if Rocky uh, agrees to it, I'm going to ask him to do a podcast. He's a guy who's lived in the desert all his life. Lots of good things to talk about, but he's usually a little microphone shy. <clears throat> maybe if I buy a couple of beers from him and buy him a beer or two, maybe he'll decide to uh, <laughs> to do the podcast with me. I always like to go to Lone Pine, which is a little more than an hour away. If I can gaze at Mount Whitney, the highest peak in the 48 contiguous states, which I climbed several years ago with my with my son and uh, with the mad dog and then spend Thursday night in Las Vegas before coming home on, uh, on Friday morning, staying at the Tropicana on Tropicana Boulevard, the South end of the strip. They've just reopened recently and, um, I'll see what it's like. 37 bucks a night. <laughs> they they let me stay there for 37 bucks a night. Plus a $37 a night resort fee. Normally they have a $50 a night, 40 or $50 a night parking fee, but they've waived that. So for what? Uh 74 bucks even with tax, less than 100 bucks. I'm going to stay at a fantastic hotel right on the strip. And then come on home on uh on Friday morning. Now, people have asked me, "Well, who are you going with?" And the answer is nobody. And they say, well, why do you want to go on this trip by yourself? And the answer is always the same. I don't want to go on this trip by myself. But nobody wants to come along. Now, why would I do it? Why would I just not say, ah, nobody's going to go, so I'm not going to do it? Well, here's the thing. I've always been of the opinion Do not let others influence your wants, needs, or desires to the point of extreme compromise. I'm going to repeat that. Don't let others influence your wants, needs, or desires to the point of extreme compromise. Now, those of you out there who are saying, well, Strong, I've heard you say more than once, um, the way to get things done is through compromise. And that's true but not extreme compromise. And here's what I mean by that. I would love to go to the desert with people, with others. It's more fun if you have a group, okay? But if nobody wants to go, and I certainly understand why people don't want to go. First of all, a lot of people don't like the desert. It's too hot. A lot of people don't like to camp. It's not comfortable. And during this COVID-19, a lot of people don't want to fly because they don't feel safe on an airplane. And I certainly I certainly understand all of that. Now, if it were up to me, I would go to the, to the desert two or three times a year. But I have trouble finding somebody to go with me once a year. So almost always, I go at least once a year. Extreme compromise would be I'm going three or four times a year by myself. Extreme compromise would also be, okay, nobody wants to go, so I'm not going to do it. Neither of those are going to fly with me. I do compromise. I absolutely compromise on this. My compromise is I'm going to go ahead and go maybe once a year, okay? Maybe once every 18 months. 
maybe once every 10 months, but basically once a year, I'm going to make my trip to the desert, sometimes with people, sometimes without people. Uh, I tried to talk people into going from probably from about April this year on, and nobody would go. People didn't have vacation. They didn't want to camp. They didn't want to fly. Lots of reasons. All good reasons, by the way. I get that. I don't try to bully people into going. But as the year wound down, and I haven't, haven't been since April 2019, okay, it's time to go. It's been long enough. It's been 18 months since I've been out to the desert. It's time to go. So I did. In wrapping up this podcast, that's what I that's my recommendation to you. And again, I don't want to be preachy, but I can tell you what works for me, okay? Don't let others influence your wants, needs, or desires to the point of extreme compromise. Because friend, we only have so much time. And after a certain amount of time, you can't go get there from here. As we get older, and we're all getting older, the clock ticks on the things that we can actually do. And that's not a bad thing or a good thing. It's just a thing. So if you've got something you want to do, if you have a goal you want to accomplish, if you have something that I've always wanted to do fill in the blank, I've always wanted to go to fill in the blank, I've always wanted to try fill in the blank. Please fill in the blank because the day will come where that ship has sailed and you're not going to be able to do that thing or go to that place, or experience that event. Because that ship will have sailed. Uh, For whatever reason. Case in point, if you never saw Bob Gibson in life throw a fastball, you never will. Because he passed away last night at age 84. And one day you will pass away at age such and such. And before you get there, you won't be able to do something. I mean, if I live to be 112, I doubt very seriously that I'm going to be hiking mountains when I'm 106, okay? So when I'm 112, I don't want to say, wow, I sure wish I had gone to Wild Rose one more time. Sure wish I had hiked Telescope one more time. I'd really like to climb another 14er. I've done a lot of that. I continue to do that. In your professional life, in your personal life, in your recreation life, Don't let others influence your wants, needs, or desires to the point of extreme compromise. Do your own thing. Be your own man or woman. And have fun. Well, that's it. We're done. Hope you enjoyed the podcast. James Strong Show at Hotmail.com. That's the email address. Send me your email address. I will add you to the James Strong Show fans list. And upon dropping of the show, When the show drops, you get the email, you can download the podcast, and you can listen to it at your leisure. And I'm going to read the whole list this time. And it's not even the whole list. It's just the partial list of places you can get the James Strong Show podcast. iTunes, iHeartRadio, Player FM, Facebook, Twitter, TuneIn, Radio Online, the podcast app, YouTube, Spotify, Google Podcasts, CastBox, SoundCloud, Deezer, Podcast Attic, GeoSavan, and of course, Spreaker.com. Until next time, this is James Strong saying adios.